Have you ever wondered why only certain items are accepted in your recycling bin or cart? The process of selecting what to recycle at a materials recycling facility is more complicated than you might think. There are several aspects to be considered before the decision is made. First, is anyone buying this material? There have to be buyers to process the material into something new. If there are no buyers, recycling cannot happen, and the material will not be accepted. Even when there are buyers, there is competition between recycling facilities to provide the desired materials. Secondly, can the items be sorted effectively? Materials recycling facilities are able to sort many types of material, but not everything. One example is when the materials are inseparable. A nut canister, which is composed of paper, metal, and plastic, cannot be separated into individual components, and as a result, is not accepted in a bin or cart. Another example is when the item's size, shape, and color prevents them from being sorted properly. Although shredded paper is paper, it cannot be successfully sorted into the paper stream because of its small size. Instead, shreds fall into other streams and become contaminants and lower other materials value. Another question to be asked is whether the item is safe for the workers in the facility. Propane tanks are metal, but they can also cause fire. Hoses are plastic, but they can wrap around the equipment and shut down the facility. As a result, they cannot be recycled through a bin or cart. Finally, the cost has to be considered. Believe it or not, recycling isn't free. The cost for running the program has to be covered somehow, and it mainly comes from buyers and what they are willing to pay for the material. Like I said, Recycling is more complicated than you think. Now, you might be wondering, is there any way I can recycle items that can't be accepted in my bin or cart? The answer is yes. Many things have recycling potential, but they can't be recycled through the same mean. In fact, there are three categories. First is the widely recycled, meaning you can place these items in most recycling bins. This includes plastic bottles, paper, cardboard, and cans. Recycle Across America has started the initiative to standardize recycling labels on the bins for widely recycled objects to eliminate confusion and reduce contamination. Then comes the check locally category, meaning that only certain communities accept these items through recycling bins or carts, so you have to check with the local recycling program. Examples are cartons and aluminum foil. If you want to recycle even more, then the third category is recycling through special programs. You might be able to drop off recyclables such as plastic bags, electronics, and styrofoam at designated locations. You can also mail some items directly to certain organizations. Many companies have adopted how to recycle labels on their packaging, which tells you whether something is widely recycled, only recycled in certain communities, through special programs, or not yet recycled. So when you are recycling next time, make sure to check out what and how to recycle in your community. The only way to truly know what is recyclable is to find out through your local recycling program.